Hi, this is Michael with Yorgle. Today I want to talk about an altcoin called Caspa. Uh, K-A-S is the symbol for that. Uh, and they say that they are the fastest open source decentralized and fully scalable layer one in the world. It's a large claim and I'm going to break it all down on why they say that, um, how kind of how the technology works uh, for layman's terms for those of us that aren't so tech savvy and uh, why this might be a coin to keep an eye on. Uh, so if we look at Caspa, uh, once again, the fastest open source decentralized fully scalable layer one in the world. So layer one means it's their own code. They've created it from the ground up. Um, and open source means it's, it's open to everybody to build on top of it. Decentralized, it's not owned by one person or one company. It's, it's out there uh, for everybody, just like uh, Bitcoin. Um, Caspa is a community project. It's completely open source with no central governments. The coin was fair launched without pre-mining or any pre-allocation of coins. Why is this important? Uh, it's because most coins are launched uh, with uh, uh, pre-mining, etc. Whoever the founders are taking a, a big section of the coins for themselves, um, or initial giving them to initial investors. Um, this was launched pretty much in the same way Bitcoin was launched. We'll even talk about how the security layer is based on the same technology that Bitcoin's proof of work was built on. Caspa was founded by Yonatan Sompolinsky, and uh, the Ghost Dag protocol was invented by Yonatan with his then PhD advisor, Professor Aviv Zohar. And uh, Yonatan started gaining reputation within the cryptocurrency academic circle back in 2013 when he and Professor Zohar conceived the Ghost Protocol. And that protocol is famous for being cited in the Ethereum white paper as a design goal. So it was something that Vitalik actually looked at and wanted this uh, Ghost Protocol to uh, be used as... Uh, a design goal for Ethereum itself because of the security that it that it showed. Uh, and Yonatan currently holds a postdoctoral position in Harvard and in a team researching MEV on DAGs. Core team of uh, four developers and one researcher. And uh, once again, everybody's got their information here, so nobody's trying to hide out. Uh, they do have a community of contributors that are all listed here with uh, their either their Discord uh, contact or their uh, Twitter uh, contact as well. Uh, so this was launched in uh, November 7th of uh, 2021. Uh, it's a proof of work block DAG, which we'll get into in just a minute. Uh, the ticker is KAS. Block time is one second as opposed to 10 minutes that Blick, uh, Bitcoin takes. Uh, they have a circulating supply of 14 billion CAS, and uh, the max supply will be uh, 28.7 billion, uh, so it uh, will be deflationary. And the market cap sits at 59 million right now, so it's a very low market cap coin. So CASP is a proof-of-work uh, crypto, uh, so it implements what's called the Ghost DAG uh, protocol. What the difference with a Ghost DAG is um, it generalizes the Nakamoto consensus to a direct a silic graph of blocks, a block DAG. Uh, unlike legacy blockchains, the block DAG orders all the blocks in parallel with consensus. Uh, so consensus, uh, if you're not familiar with that, is just the way that uh, they're achieving the necessary agreement on a single value. So uh, considering the blockchain, uh, Bitcoin blockchain, for instance, the consensus mechanism is known as proof of work. So consensus, just how we're agreeing on how the data is stored. So everybody's on the same page with that. What, what makes these DAGs, um, the direct acyclic graph, different uh, we can e is most easy to see by actually looking at uh, their graph inspector. And this shows just how the blocks are being created. So you can see with uh, blockchain, normally you're just having a row of blocks created and one has to be completed before the next one. These blocks automatically go on the ledger uh, as soon as uh, the data is uh, put in. It does take about 10 seconds 
to complete um, the transaction, but par these parallel blocks can be created at the same time uh, and the data is transferred to uh, further blocks as uh, things are happening. So it speeds up the process uh, extensively. So CASPA is built by pioneers and led by the people. Uh, once again, the first block DAG. So once again, we hear the term blockchain and blockchain is just the technology behind cryptocurrency. This cryptocurrency CASPA is actually using a block DAG and the block DAG is just this different way of ordering the blocks that come in instead of a chain where everything is linear. We've got all these parallel blocks coming in at the same time and the information uh, being transferred across those different blocks. Um, so they currently um, have a speed of one block per second as opposed to uh, Bitcoin that, that uh, takes about 10 minutes for a block uh, to complete. Um, and then there are 400 transactions for, per block with up to 18 simultaneous parallel blocks. Uh, and why is that important? Um, because that is what's speeding things up. Here we have four blocks coming in at the same time. Um, and then, you know, individual blocks, depending on uh, how fast the network is running, uh, we can run up to 18 of these parallel ones coming in at the same time. So if we look at those numbers um, and one block per second at 400 uh, plus transactions per block, uh, that gives us 400 transactions per second, which uh, isn't what we really need for uh, financial institutions to be able to use this. Uh, when you look at Visa, they can transact about 60,000 transactions per second, uh, but they are working on increasing uh, the speed of this uh, by transferring the code, which we'll get into in a little bit. Um, but they, they have plans to complete that in uh, this quarter uh, that will increase the uh, transaction speed to 30 transaction or 30 blocks per second rather than the one block per second, which gets them up to 12,000 transactions per second. And then they have hopes to uh, keep morphing the code to they, so until they can get it to 100 blocks per second, which would give them 40,000 transactions per second. And then we're talking about a, a good speed that is actually usable in the real world for a huge amount of transactions. So they're saying the generalization of the Nakamoto consensus allows for secure operation while maintaining very high block rates, currently one block per second, but they're aiming for 32 per second with uh, visions of 100 per second. And they have minuscule confirmation times dominated by internet latency. So um, the, the confirmation times are gonna be based more on uh, the internet speeds themselves. CASPA's key features, once again, fastest transactions, instant confirmation, scalability, uh, efficient proof of work, uh, and uh, security, and that they're using the block DAG, which overcomes the block problem of blockchains being slow. They have gotten recently listed on uh, the exchange MEXC and uh, CoinX. They haven't gotten listed on any of the big exchanges yet. That's something to watch out for because generally when there's news that a token does get listed on Binance or Coinbase, um, even uh, Kraken or KuCoin, a lot of times that alone will boost the price of the token uh, as more and more people will learn about the coin and uh, what it actually does. Their roadmap is pretty vague right now. Once again, it's early days uh, for this coin. Uh, they're working on mobile wallet development. Uh, and uh, an important thing they're doing right now is they're switching the code uh, from Golang to Rust. And part of this is going to help the performance uh, and speed of the actual uh, transactions. Um, they say that Currently, Casper is written in a programming, programming language called Golang, and they say you can think of it as a sort of a molding clay. It serves the purpose of designing the shape and proving the concept, but it's not anything you'd want to see in a museum. So Rust is high performance uh, programming language, and it'll allow for these uh, the coding to work seamlessly uh, on Web3. 
Uh, they are working to further increase the blocks per second and the transactions per second. Uh, they haven't even completed uh, their white paper, so they're uh, working on uh, completing that. Uh, they are working on the DAG Knight Consensus Research Publication, which is uh, a new consensus mechanism that will potentially be introduced to CASPA uh, that will theoretically lay down the groundwork for even faster transaction times. And uh, they've got a link to the paper on their site at caspa.org here. They'll keep working on archival node improvements and smart contracts implementation. So we don't even have smart contracts available yet. Once again, still really early days uh, with the coin itself. But with the strong team they've got, Yonatan, Yonatan himself being cited in the Ethereum white paper back before Ethereum was even created. Uh, we've got somebody that's been in blockchain uh, for years. The core developers seem to be strong and uh, the fact that they're pioneering this coin and launching it and that it's it's only been out for a year it could be sky's the limit of course it could go nowhere as well uh, i'm not giving any financial advice on whether or not to jump into the token we just like to spell out what tokens are so you can uh, research them more for yourself we'll have links to all this information uh, down below so you can do further research yourself on the token uh, so once again, the rewrite of Caspa's core modules will be introducing an estimated 32 blocks per second once they've got it uh, out on Rust with no penalty to security or decentralization. Uh, they expect that core module rewrite to be concluded in quarter four, so uh, it might be concluded uh, very soon. They actually had spent eight years of theoretical research and development uh, where it was launched in late 2021. Uh, and there, once again, there were no team allocations pre-sale or pre-mine with this. And they say they're solving the trilemma of security, decentralization, and scalability all at once. Uh, so that that could mean a lot for the for the token if they end up getting to those speeds and then getting the partnerships that they need to actually have people building on top of the token itself. Uh, so Yonatan Simplinski and Aviv Zohar um, wrote the ghost paper back in 2013. Once again, um, they've spent uh, eight years doing research and development on that and then released this uh, in 2021. Um, they're also saying that uh, they're working towards optical proof of work. And they're saying as transistors shrink to their limits, the advancement of semiconductors will gradually shift towards silicon photonics. So basically using light as a medium of data transfer rather than electricity. And of course, light is way faster than electricity. So once we get to that uh, technology in computers, uh, it's going to make data, uh, it's going to make data transfer even faster. And uh, this will democratize mining to all parts of the globe rather than specific geographic areas with cheap electricity. Uh, you can check out caspa.network. That's where they are talking more about their, their mining um, and uh, how uh, it actually works. Uh, caspa.org is their uh, other website. Of course, they've got links to both on everything else. Uh, you can jump into their social media and uh, find out more about uh, what they're doing, ask questions, and it's a great way to, to find out more about the token itself. We just wanted to give you a kind of a broad overview of what this token's doing, where it's sitting. Once again, we're at uh, below uh, half a cent, and uh, there's lots of room for the token to, to grow over time. If you found this information valuable for you, please click that like button. It really helps our channel out. And we'd love it if you subscribe and click that bell notification. We'll let you know whenever we've got a new video out. So thanks for your time, and I'll talk with you later.